Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided, where we continue a story of a criminal past when Jensen got into prison uh, with the purpose of uh, contacting this guy, Agent Mihia or Agent Guerrera, depending on which name you prefer. But there is some real wild stuff going on in this prison, in particular uh, augmentation gathering and training apparently. Uh, I've been also thinking about this is the Arizona State Riot response team. about how I do I like to leave necessary. this place. And I came to conclusion that I would prefer to use the same way that people were using to smuggle bodies outside. If we go somewhere over here behind the cells there is uh, this ladder and downstairs actually a way out now I gotta be careful because there are drones But I still should be able to leave the place. Hmm. No hostile activity detected. Continuing cautious patrol mode. Perhaps it is somewhere over there? I mean, only one way to find out. To try and actually find it out. Except for additional mines, I don't see anything particularly useful here. Why would they mine this place if there is nothing else? Like, there is no door or anything. The only way out I saw is that uh, the weather. Which is kinda disappointing, I was hoping to find a 
the way directly to infirmary. It would have been extremely convenient. This is not the case, apparently. This is not a negotiation. Surrender. Uh, I'm back to this breach, but there are no people. No oh, damn it. You're still here. Since there are no people, can I explore these uh, consoles now? Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Good morning, on behalf of the Penley House Father Correctional Facility, we all would like to, ha to wish happy birthday to Michael D. Rose. Happy birthday. Hacked? Who the hell would hack it? Sting is going to lose his nerve. I let you take the credit for this find. Right, the executable in the cloud's phantom file had enough iterative backup noise from the last few weeks to do a full rebuild and restore. It took me more than a day, but the assemble log clearly shows it was hacked. I am convinced that Donald is sabotaging the drones and sentries. I gave him a test, let's see what he does. I also told him that I suspect you of being the person I can't trust. Keep an eye on him, but keep your distance. I want to see what he does. Okay, the shooting is not to me. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have drones. Uh, some of the sentry calibrations have weird timestamps on their CLB files. When I checked them, they reverted to older versions, but the checksums were different. I don't know if it's Melanie, one of the guards, or what, but someone's been messing around. Can you take a look to see if you spot something wrong? What are you doing tonight? Stream the movies and chill? Yes. Only a couple days until we're on vacation, babe. I can't wait until we're out of here. I love that you found a resort where augmented people are not allowed. Was it expensive? Uh, yes and no. Anyway, I figured we both needed a couple days away from seeing Ogs. What about the people that walk there? Are they Ogged? No. I already forgot. How do I get out of here?
Why are you shooting at? Oh crap. So we kinda need to get there, right? I wonder if there is any other way out there. Because I doubt that this one is gonna take me out, but... Yeah, let's see. No, that's not out. Highly doubt. So then left or right? Hmm. I'd prefer right because there is no turret. kind of archive anomaly detected trace program initiated access granted Now we are in the administration, right? Security room and warden's office. Stenger's office. I might be considering going first to the north wing. To the north part. What? Are those two outside? Maybe they're on a completely different level, I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, this is some kind of a storage room, so, so let's see what do we have here.
have 11 practice available. Yeah, I definitely can no longer con... Well, I, I am allowed no longer to conserve them because... Well, there is just no point in that. I also like my growing number of bio cells, which effectively means that if I will have some kind of augmentation that eats a lot of energy, say a cloak org, I might have enough supplementary juice to allow me run it for quite a while. That was a good run, actually. Infirmary Morgue. Are you trying to say me that there was a way between the buildings? Electrified, but maybe you can just blatantly go around here. Cool. Well, that's a classic case. Uh, run before you die. And I think I succeeded in that. However, I don't see anything useful in this particular room. Oh yeah! Yeah, I know she. Yeah. Certainly. If you want anything else, you should. You want me to talk? He told me to tell you that. All right. Okay. So I cannot confront him about uh, what the hell had happened with the uh, lightning. I cannot confront him about uh, information that I heard from here. Certainly, Mr. Stanger. So, yeah, we'll see how, how that plays out. Intel places Frederick Flossing near the warden's office. He hopes to get himself on TV. All orders are to make sure that doesn't happen. We don't know if he's alone or how well armed he is. So proceed with caution. Understood. Got it. Controls were in Warden's office. And that's on Central Tower's roof. Hmm. Okay, obviously I'm not particularly comfortable, given the amount of people who are just walking around here. I'm not comfortable at all.
but I found some office. And I see some unlocked consoles, and that I like. Kelvin Yang. I'm concerned by the rise of mentally unstable inmates admitted into our facility. The latest example is Jeremiah Coldwell. As you may recall, Coldwell uh, was a developer of faulty neural network technology that caused severe brain damage. I'm not questioning the court's decision to hold Coldwell criminally responsible, however I am questioning our capacity to effectively meet his mental needs. The man is convinced that nothing here is real. Something out there, the real Jeremiah Coldwell, Coldwell is strapped in and dreaming uh, the rest of us into existence. Worse, he is starting to convince the others. My team can handle addiction cases. It can handle depression, apathy, violence, but inmates like Coldwell, like uh, the Fixer, like Adams, those who have completely broken with reality, these men do not belong here. With Lauren's recent concerns brought to my attention, this is no longer something we should ignore. I combed our files and have no record of this inmate. I searched the Derek, 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 Walters, 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 nothing came up. We are currently transferring all our files to a new system, he might have somehow fallen through the cracks. I'll let you know as soon as I find out anything. Hello, I have you listed here as the evaluator of Derek Walters. We have never received his psych file. He's only supposed to be here for a couple of days, but I still need it. We have a wide range of inmates in our facility, I need to know if I'm dealing with a level O or 5. Yeah, about that. I really might not stick here for too long. Damn it. I cannot jump over here. Well, that that's not cool. But I have another computer. Has anyone told you anything? Uh, Leo says they've taken the cell blocks. Are we gonna get evacuated? Yes. Leo says the guards are winning. Go to the roof, you should be fine. I can hear them outside my office. Hear who? Guards or inmates? Guards, I think. I'm gonna check. Gracie, I just got an email from the wife of Steven Eukilis. He died here two weeks ago in an accident. When they received his belongings, his augmented hand wasn't included. Miss Eukilis' wife wanted it. wanted it, apparently the thing has sentimental value. Did he lose it before he came here, or in the accident that killed him? I have zero memory of this guy, even though I personally handled this case. Grace, me again, can I get a copy of an incident report? It's an assault involving Vince Langdon. He claims to have been the victim, but I have him listed as the perp. The Arizona Parole Board is not making a decision until the facts on his assault are ironed out. Are you for real? You're gonna end things with me over email? I'll be wanting I'll be waiting by your car when the veto comes in tonight so we can talk in person. Finally some locked computer. Anomaly detected. No Trace anomaly here. Granted. I'm going forward with the divorce. I can't forgive you. I told you not to take the job out there because I knew it would be the end of us. I thought it would be your attitude towards Ox that would do it. I never imagined you'd cheat. I'll sign the release papers today and post date them just to get it out of the way. I reviewed their files and everything looks good. Three inmates completing their sentence next week. There are two parole vid screen hearings books for the next week. On the horizon, we are on track to have 12 inmates released. However, most of them have multiple infractions. My professional opinion is that 40% will make it to parole. I mean, I can see that there is an opening, right? Yeah. Oh. 
go down to the infirmary. The infirmary? Was he hurt? Nah, he said he had something to take care of now. Rebecca McCall, the family of Paul Shumlin, an inmate who died two months ago, is requesting a copy of his possessions list. Apparently when his ashes and possessions were returned to the family, some personal items were missing. Can you send me the list? Also, this is the third time this month that something like this has happened. Infraction reports. Possession of outside food? His teacher just called offering her sympathies. He's apparently been going around telling everyone that you are in the hospital. And the reason he hasn't completed any of his assignments is that he's distraught about losing his mother. I don't know what to do with him, where does he get this from and for what? Just so he didn't have to write a book report we need to sit down with him, set him straight. Maybe you could bring him to work, throw a scare into him. Warren Amaya. Hello Warren, it's uh, Stuart Hinterland. It has been three months since I was released from the PTHCF and I wanted to give you a little update. I haven't touched a drop of alcohol. It's amazing just how clear your mind gets when there is no poison in it. I have been thinking back to all the things you said. Some of that uh, stuff hasn't hit me until now. You were right all along, I was lying to myself about my situation, I need to trust my gut when it comes to trusting people. After three weeks of being out, I met my, my current girlfriend. She's an ex-con with an addiction problem too. So we have a lot in common. I'm helping her out with her taco truck. It's nice to be outside and eating amazing food. I need a record of attendance of mandatory addiction counseling for the following inmates. Just spoke with Prince Charming, his reaction went something along the lines of, and I quote to the best of my memory, just because we are called the penthouse doesn't mean we're an action hotel. Christ on a bike. How about I uh, do my stuff in a plant pot and let him water that? The sun never shines up there, so it would be what, uh, just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, sorry Warren, but the devil calls the shots and tells me to fire them. I kind of think he has a point, but if it helps, we have an old crappy plastic petunia pot somewhere. Better than nothing, right? I'll dig, out, I'll dig it out and put it in his cell, hopefully that can, that'll can that calm him down. Is this a joke? What do you think we are running? Uh, community college? Why in the hell would we let those felons have access to information like the facility finances? Jesus Christ, we give them an inch, they'll take the whole goddamn mile. Uh, Fixer is a special case. We aren't running a rehabilitation center, it's a prison for dangerous criminals. Our stuff is already stretched thin enough that these guys are lucky we let them out of their cells at all. Is this a reference to... Uh, what was it called? Escape from Shawshank? Oh damn! I fell down. I don't want to fall down.
Wish we'd been activated soon. Well, no surprise, but the administration is a big... Uh, it's a big building. I'm interested if there is anything useful. Mm, management, cafeteria, lounge... I'm not interested in that. Yeah, I saw a guy in the lounge. Yeah, that is a nervous thing. There are quite an amount of security systems and they are eager to detect me. That is not really cool. Okay, let's see where we can go through here. Yeah, I have a feeling that I Trace need to work on my initiated. stuff. Oh, that deals with the uh, turrets, right? God damn, man. How about you go away? There might be something under the ceiling. Madeline Besser. As usual, in, in a nervous situation, let's read it safely in from our head. Thank you for booking your Natural Way Resorts vacation package. 
Okay. I need you to arrange one-on-ones with the wardens of other augmented prisons. A 30-minute call should be fine. Please make sure they know in advance to have their files on hand for inmate deaths, TVIs, that sort of thing. I want to see how many they are reporting. can use these stairs, but it will only take me down there. But I see another elevator here. Can it take me up all the way to Stengi's office? Oh wow. Oh god damn. feeling that it would be so much easier if I can just run through it cloaked. I don't like using elevators, but I have a feeling that I might not have a lot of choice here. I saw a dude over there. Where did he go? Yeah, he might spot me if I will go on a door hacking. But that might be my way upstairs, actually. 
And now you go to the right. Well, if you turn that, we'll also do. Number five. God damn, man. What do you have in there? Number five. Vacillating lover. Okay. If you say so. Great news, Tom. I've been thinking about a lot. I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and think we should maybe hold off on filling another TVI. The hardline policy you've been talking lately is getting harder to justify. The end of year reviews are going to be a problem. I'm not supposed to be signing proxy either, so I'm thinking we should review due process again. We'll pick this up early next week. Thanks sir, but like I said in my original email, this only confirms Mihia was there when the terminal was accessed. It's not a smoking gun. There is no way we can know who hacked the sentry. Quick message to say good work for noticing and reporting Mihia's access to automated security. With that and proof of the sentry being hacked, we've got all we need. I think it's safe to say Mihia was behind Wilbrook's murder. We appreciate you've been trying to speed things up on your end, but it's been nearly two months since the original retransfer request was made. Uh, Fixer absolutely requires careful monitoring, so it's concerning that he's exposed to as unstable an environment as an augmented prison. He needs specific and secure care for his sake and those around him. Please call me as soon as you can. Sorry for the delay on following up uh, your query, but there is a lot of red tape at this end. To facilitate your request, I'm trying to clear things up personally with Warden and Pen Letty, but she is not always available and our systems are having some problems. As soon as I can get someone to straighten out, out our records, I'll have uh, the fixer process shortly and on the transport back to New Jersey. Again, be sure to write to me directly as the provided work address so I can make sure your concerns are prioritized with the least delay. Mr. Stenger, I am requesting that all guards please review and respect our policy regarding nomenclature. Uh, this means uh, no insults, no denigrating terms, and no nicknames, even those that may be in common use by the inmates themselves. Guards should refer to the inmates by either their state assigned ID numbers or preferably by their family names. Specifically regarding inmate Neo Correlet, uh, it is very important to stop calling him Cyborg. I am concerned that this nickname enables Mr. Correlate's delusion and undermines any hope of rehabilitation. Well, I think that's, that's exactly what Stenger wants, right? Now, if this is security, shouldn't there be a terminal to deal with uh, the turrets? Ah, damn it. I thought he is much further away. I thought he went to the to the wall. I 
mean, he probably did for some time. that all is worth the problem. Admin corridor. Roof access, that might be interesting. And some dude. Is roof access something that I might be interested in? Let me see. I see cameras and I only see the door. So I'm not sure that this is something I might be interested in. should be able to yeah right what do you mean I cannot go over there thank you okay and then you cannot do anything right which begs the question why What's going on with you? I just take this way. Okay. Thank you. But I really have to convince Jensen to do what I want him to, to do. Like... It's not cool, man. I am not dealing with that, thank you. Amazing to sleep with a gunshot wound. Where are you? Some more offices. Emily Figueroa. Prescott Division Court ruled yesterday that Kyle Attica falsely denied having knowledge of Henry Willis' involvement in the murder of Kellyanne Barrow. The penjury charge is going to add three years to his sentence. 
Sorry, I was going to pay it back before you noticed, but then things got complicated. I saw this chance to invest in a new opportunity, so I went in on it. But then stuff happened. It didn't pan out like at hope. Can we talk tonight? I feel like is. Uh, I feel like this is something I'd rather talk about than type about. Uh, hey all, my brother just got out of the Czech Republic. They are rounding up all augmented people and forcing them to live in parts of Prague that are just for orgs. He slipped out before they started really cracking down. Roll hearing request D. Dutton. Placement update Christopher Benick. But murder, murdering civilians like that, that, that's not nice. I can understand your anger towards... Uh, towards the guards. Uh, basic parole application. Okay, especially given that those people were doing their... Well, applying for their paroles. Anomaly detected. God damn, I really Trace need to upgrade to this stuff. Access granted. Have you found anything yet? Uh, year and budget reviews are coming up and I need to show the board we are running that ship. Karen's been doing an amazing job keeping things looking healthy so far, but it's got, uh, but it's not going to last forever. Either we have a round of layoffs, don't call them that on the books, or we bury a handful of salaries, sabbaticals, transfers, long-term injuries, anything. Employee transfer, problem with another employee, and some residents. Okay. Uh, is this stealth? No, this is uh, hacking. This is fortifying. I need some stealth. Maybe I need a lot of stealth. I mean, I have practice points for that, so. Oh Christ. Yeah, that's a lot of birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Mike. File request. Okay. Mark Ronagan commuted. No. Mm. Yeah, number seven, that stuff. I hoped it will go the other way around. Access granted. Raw hearing request. Okay. Fuck. Some maintenance walker. So I told several times I love those. Lasting legacy. This is not 
feel good. If you say so. So nothing. We've got trouble, right? Got to go. Can I get a report on how many empty beds we'll have over the next 90 days? With the recent number of actions and TVIs, it's hard to have a handle on it month to month. Nothing. Warden's assistant. Yeah, I'm here. What? Just talk to whoever you need to make it happen and call me back. I'm done with waiting. Hey, new shine. Ain't this a surprise? Looks like you're celebrating. Sure am. And I deserve it. You think anyone else could have pulled this off? Got the brothers to come together, take this place for our own. So the king emerges. Couldn't have been easy. Nothing worth it ever is. Would have been harder if you hadn't made that delivery to Red Shoes. I owe you one, Nushan. I don't like being used. Oh, come on. You got what you wanted, so did I. Everything worked out just fine. Maybe some grudges got settled along the way, so what? Change is always painful. Or do you have a problem with the way I do things? Why don't you pull out for me? How or why you do things isn't my business. That's right, it ain't. You haven't experienced what life in the penthouse is really like. From what I heard, you were moving on again in a couple of days. Plans change. I need to leave now. Look at you getting shit done. Spit it out, brother. Something I can help you with? I need access to the transport's tracking system. It's here in the warden's office. Go right ahead and do whatever you need, brother. I'm just waiting on my interview. Start transport systems override code update 2027. Betsy Perkins. I don't this believe cool. this, but I'd still rather be getting out of here. Did you check over there yet? Hello? The CEOs are gonna pay. I ain't hanging up. I'm concerned by the rise of mentally unstable inmates. Yeah, okay. Budget breakdown. Dear Miss Perkins, this is to inform you that we have received and assessed your annual incident review. Our analysts have identified several areas of concern and would like you to provide us with additional information so that we can clarify a few questions we might have for the next stage of our review. Your facility has shown a steady increase in inmate deaths, 18% over the last year, with the largest increase in prosecutions through the Terminal Violations Act. Hello. Of further concern is that a high percentage of your signed warrants appear to have been handled via proxy. Should find a warrant. And weekly <laughs> medical report. Ian Wilbrook Ballistic Trauma, Andres Brito TVP, Barry Vaughan Cardiac Arrest, Raymond Cash Suicide Hello. Fixation. <laughs> Don't go too far. Mm. How long is this gonna take? Glad I haven't crossed Stanger. Come on, I ain't got all day. You looked over that way? How long Watch is this yourself. gonna take? Come on, I ain't got all day. Why would a warden keep some practice kits Should in here? In here safe. Hope this is over soon. These hog fuckos are tearing my prison apart. 
think I got time for this? Well, yes, uh, but anyway. no, no. Uh, Mr. Mejia oh, said you. that I should. Mejia said. God damn it, Warden! I told you to stay out of the hole. Yes, yes, you did. Uh, it's it's Mr. Mejia. He he. What are you telling me? Mejia's here. Get in there. Go. How long is this gonna take? <laughs> so when you saw. The tail end of a conversation between Stenga and the Fixer outside the infirmary made it almost sound like Agent Guerrero was there too. Hmm. Saw Stenga and Wirthmuller arguing on the security monitor. It sounded like Guerrero might be there. But didn't he say he was going to the tower to reroute the flight path? Why would he go to the infirmary? I have the same question, Doctor. Guerrero was obviously hiding something, but I needed to take a trip to the infirmary if I wanted to know what it was. And that's why we got roof access, right? To carefully jump from the roof over here and go directly to the infirmary. Read his pocket secretary. Well, thank you. Not that one. Listen up, Tommy boy. You know how this works. Put on your show and swing your as much as you like, but don't forget who's actually in charge here. Who we take is my call, how we do it, is yours, stick to the list, follow my orders and everyone is happy, chop chop sunshine, junker is waiting. Is this serious? Why aren't we going after that Fossi? He's worth thousands, who's going to miss him? Jeff Scott, Cassius Harper, Carmen, Duane Bell, do not touch Frederick and Wilburg. Yeah, but I was in his office. What? So now Stanger had been murdered. Did you think Guerrero was responsible? When I saw Stanger arguing with Worthmuller on the security feed, he implied that Guerrero might have been there. If that was true, it meant either one of them could have done it. What was sure was that Guerrero had been lying to me. The orders I'd found on Stanger's body clearly showed he was pulling the strings for the harvesting operation all along. I'm confused as I've been to the office. Oh damn. Yeah, going once again through all oh. the security features. Yeah, that's... Um... Damn it. I cannot actually run a lot here, okay. Well, definitely not without a certain augmentation.
Oh, of course. That's why Mihie killed Wilbrook. Agent Guerrero said that he'd killed Wilbrook to protect his Interpol cover. But the recording indicated that he did it to protect his standing with Junkyard. If that was true, he'd lied to me, again. Guerrero had some explaining to do. But if I didn't do what was needed to ensure the escape, neither of us were gonna make it back to Interpol. Okay. And that's something that we're gonna do next time. For now we had quite some progress. We now know why Mihia killed Wilburg, uh, how Stenger involved in that. That's quite a, well, not a conspiracy, no, but uh, quite an arrangement they have here. Um, yeah, uh, we disengaged the tracking system, so that's... Uh, also a step in the direction of uh, leaving the place uh, that's also good so uh, i think we're progressing well on our checklist on how to leave the prison and we are untangling all the stuff uh, surrounding agent me here agent agent carrera or oscar me here once again whichever you prefer uh so I'd like to thank you for staying with me, I hope you enjoy uh, the content, I hope you enjoy my company, and uh, in such a case, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, otherwise let me know down in the comments what I can improve for you. Hope to see you next time, have a nice day out there, and bye.